pings you always need. At least three pings. Uh, I prefer six. Uh, now I had only four, five. Yeah, five picks uh, because I have a diamond one. Uh, at least two shovels, but I prefer three or four. Uh, some materials. Uh, it can be cobblestone, it can be ground. Uh, anything is good basically to cross lava paths or uh, get from one ledge to another. Stuff like that. Uh, you also need sticks. 64 sticks always uh, for torches or for tools and you should carry around some planks as well uh, if you need sticks you can make those uh, and if you ca uh, need to make tools uh, as an emergency you can make a toolbox so yeah uh, I mostly prefer stone uh, carrying around stone with me so that I can make uh, stone picks out of out of them as well as bridging gaps. Uh, so yeah, instead of soil, but it's actually your choice. Uh, but these are essential, and of course torches uh, if you don't have have any. And uh, you're probably gonna find coal uh, in the caves. Basically, any cave system you go to, it has coal. So you don't need to carry it around with you all the time, but uh, it's advisable to carry around uh, at least, I don't know, 10 or 20 pieces of coal before you go into the cave. Who knows when you're gonna find some coal to dig. But, you know, it's common sense, so I guess. I'm just. I'm just saying, for those you, those of you who just started this game and can decide. Yeah, but the consensus is that uh, you don't go into the cave without supplies. That's the most important thing. And that sums up everything. Oh, yes! Uh, actually, I died last time because I found a uh, big diamond load. Uh, kind of forgot uh, all cautionary measures and stuff like that because I have found diamonds and I was so happy. Uh, it was at least six uh, diamond doors next to each other which is kind of like the holy grail. <laughs> so it's fucking rare and it's fucking awesome, so yeah, I started immediate, immediately digging and uh, yeah, I dug out the sixth uh, patch of ore and it, there was lava above it <laughs> and it flowed onto my head and I couldn't get out in time, so I died. So yeah, always dig with caution. Always have an escape route and uh, always have, I don't know, healing aids and uh, well always stand, well don't stand completely next to the thing you're gonna dig. Okay, I guess I cleared this part of the mines. Sadly, I can't see... Uh, jump! Jump! There we go. No! No, oh, stupid water. Sadly, in uh, dungeons, or... Uh, well, dungeons... In mines, uh, you can't make a mine map that shows you where you are. So... So you have to be careful, actually. And uh, yeah, this is the most safe way to dig down. If you want to dig down. Uh, and 
one thing I want to show you guys is the void. Because I have found the void and it's beautiful. But yeah, you can find it everywhere. Uh, one, one guy asked if uh, what was this black stuff on the forum, and uh, another dude answered him that it was uh, bedrock. It is, but uh, he also said that it's it can be dug out, and it takes 10 minutes to d dig one piece out, but you can make tools out of it, and it's unbreakable. Well, I don't want to test it out. Probably it's not true because uh, it, on the wiki page it says indestructible and can only be replaced by mods. So, oops. No, there's the void. Alright, so this is the void. If I fall down, I die. Basically. Well, I fall a lot and I start to take damage and, and then I die. But, uh, yeah. That's the void. That's the bottom of the map. Basically. So yeah, you shouldn't fall into the void. The void is bad for you. And uh, it sucks that I have discovered this cave system already. Shit. Redstone is a fucking pain in the ass to dig. It takes so long. So yeah, you should always keep one block distance from the block you are digging. So when this happens, you can run away and block the path. Uh, also, you should exercise caution when you are digging up, but uh, I never do. <laughs> I like to dig straight up. Uh, it's got its risks, but uh, the reward is that you well, you got a basically quicker get out of the mine quicker. So that's a big plus in my book. So. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have dug this out. Uh, anyway, I'll we'll start here then. Uh, yeah, if you see soil, it's pretty safe to dig out. Uh, or dig up, basically, from it. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is sanding or... Uh, or, or that, yeah. Gravel. <laughs> but... Otherwise it's pretty safe, and uh, when that happens you can uh, either jump out un from under it, or dig your way out, so, so yeah, it's pretty safe. And at this height, no, I'm out. Awesome. Or I'm in a cave. Yes, I'm in a cave. Nice. Is that lava or torch? Alright, so I have been here. Oh yeah, I have dig here, actually. No. Oh. I didn't want to do that. But I haven't been here, so that's great. Alright, so... Well, this expedition was... was fruitful, I guess. I got 20 of these reeds or... 
bamboo or kelp or whatever it is. Uh, I have found 30 iron, 5 gold. It's nice. Life is good. Basically. So. So yeah. Uh, and yeah, if you can, you also always should get a diamond pick as soon as you can. If you have diamond, make a pick out of it. Uh, because it's crazy durable. I mean, uh, if you. I think you can make uh, 125 or uh, you can dig 125 blocks uh, out of a single single iron pick but for diamond picks it's a thousand and something I don't know it's a fucking lot I hope this is... oh yeah I'm under the sea Oh, and I'm really close to my Hubble sign. And my first mine, and my second mine, and shit like that. Let's go up there. I think I showed you this in like the first video or second that I did. Right, uh, so here I have some stuff, I just came here to store this, it's always nice to have a few things around. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you Diamond Picks and, and how awesome they are, basically that will be the end of this, this video. And uh, my my standard LP of Minecraft. So uh, I don't think there's anything down here, but let's go this way. See how quick it is, and see its durability. Mm, Diamond picks are the best thing ever. I think I made diamond armor out of them or something, but uh, meh. See, that's how long I dug and you can't even see the wear on this thing. It's awesome. It's, it's the best thing ever. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this little short version of of Minecraft, uh, and I'll be back for more when I feel like it. Uh, no more requests, no more stuff. There's a lot of Minecraft LPs going around, so so I don't care enough about this. this. I, I must finish. Well, I must finish. Uh, I should finish uh, Spellforce to LP, and it's a long one, and I'm not even at half point. I think. Uh, I should finish Freedom Force, and I'm not even a quarter of the way on that. Uh, I have my Fallout LP, which I plan on continuing, but I don't know. I don't know what, what I will do with that. Uh, and I don't know what I, else I have. So, yeah, I got a lot on my mind. Uh, there are new games that I should play or want to play. Uh, well, LP basically. A uh, lot of new games are coming out soon. I don't know when the when New Vegas com comes out, but I think it's October, so it's pretty close as well. So yeah, there's a lot uh, going on, and uh, it's gonna be. Christmas soon? <laughs> well, I know it's five months away, or 